wait for the train. You're right. <laughs> I'm gonna get mad. I'm talking to a float. Hi everyone, it's Disney Pixie here. So I've decided to do a YouTube video. I've had my Instagram for about a month now and I just really wanted to do a video and I was thinking about what I could do and I've decided to do, as you'll know from the title, a September haul as I did buy quite a lot um, last month. So I thought I'd share with you all the Disney things that I found. I believe a lot of them are still in the store. You're probably wondering why I've got Sebastian in the video. So, I mean, I do love The Little Mermaid. It probably is my favorite princess Disney film. So I had a mermaid themed birthday uh, in August and I wanted this. I saw it on Instagram and I was looking for it everywhere. It sold out on the UK site. So I got it from the America Shop Disney site. It was a little bit pricier. It, I think you were, it was $59 and then it was $40 posting packaging. And then I also had to pay a further, I think it was 20 pounds when it came to my door. So here's pricey, but totally worth it. I wanted to have a pool in the garden because we had some super hot weather this August in the UK. So my whole plan was to have, you know, a little pool. I bought a paddling pool. Well, a little. I bought quite a big paddling pool. I had two floats in it in the end. And I was meant to have it outside, but honestly, the weather was just terrible <laughs> leading up to the birthday party. And then on the day, it just rained. So bless my mum. She went out and bought, I think, 700 plastic balls. They're actually beneath my bed. Oh, okay. God, they all just came out. I'm not even joking. <gasps> I did drop the bag. <clears throat> oh. Can you see? They've all come out. Okay, that was a disaster. So yeah, these are the ones that I actually bought these ones a few days before on Amazon, but they didn't come in time, which is a bit sad, but I'm going to use them for something else. And then my mum, bless her, ran to Argos and got me, I think, I want to say there is 100 in here, apparently. So she bought me seven bags, so we had 700, and they're all stuck under my bed. So in the end we bought the paddling pool inside, and we had the whole party inside with Sebastian, and it was super fun, and everyone was having pictures, and um, yeah, we played some games, and it was, it was really nice. I just can't kind of bear to put him down. But, I mean, my birthday was in August, and we're now in October, so yeah I think it's time but he's just so cute but it's it's a bit annoying because he's on my bed and then when I go to sleep at night I have to put him on the floor so yeah if you can see him but yeah I bought him in August he kind of doesn't count but we're just gonna keep him in the video and then I'm gonna probably have to put you down today I've got lots and lots and lots of stuff that is just literally beneath my feet to show you but before we get started I am wearing my Disneyland Paris Minnie Mouse ears I do love the glittery ones, but I have to say, I think the originals are my favourite. I'm also wearing this Starbucks aerial top. I mean, I love it. My friend Laura bought that for me about three years ago for Secret Santa. And yeah, I love it so much. And for the bottoms, I am wearing my H&M Mickey jeans. And I've also got these socks. I don't know if you can even see Sebastian's on them. I don't know if you can, but yeah, so my mum bought me them, she bought me a pack and they were from Primark. So that is what I'm wearing. So let's get on with the haul. I'm going to start with Primark. I'm just going to show you this Primark pack. I bought so much stuff. Ugh. Obviously, this wasn't all in one trip. So first thing I'm going to show you, which I'm so excited about, and it seems really strange talking about this because it's October and we haven't even had Halloween yet. Yeah, this is a Christmassy item or items. So, I don't know how I'm going to show you. I'm probably not going to show you this all together. Actually, I'll do four at a time. So, it's these. These are the Christmas decorations. So, first of all, I went into the Tottenham Court Road Primark. And I picked up these four. I actually went the day these came out. I didn't know. So, we have here Winnie the Pooh and Eeyore. We have... Belle and Cinderella, super cute. We have Mickey and Minnie, classics. 
and we also have Ariel and Flounder. So these were the first four I picked up. I had to go to three different Primarks to eventually get the whole set. They're five pounds um, each, so they're all five pounds, and you get two in each. So I picked up them, and then the week after, I went to the Marble Arch Primark, and I found these two. So these are both Beauty and the Beast related. It's Chip and Mrs. Potts, and then it's also Lumiere and Cogsworth. So, I absolutely love these. I don't know why, but Beauty and the Beast always really reminds me of Christmas. I think it's because when I was little, I used to watch the, I think, it, I think it's called Beauty and the Beast 2 or Beauty and the Beast Christmas something. And it's Belle and the Beast and there's like a piano, what do you call it? There's like an organ and he's the baddie in it, which I don't know if I've just given that away if you haven't seen it. I'm sure you know he's badly from the beginning. So, and it's all Christmassy, and she has like a red dress. Um, and yeah, I don't know, Beauty and the Beast always reminds me of Christmas. And I think maybe because they have the scenes in the snow. So yeah, and then I didn't get the last one for ages. It was really frustrating me because this is just such an old classic to me. And it's Bambi and Thumper. So I had to go, I can't remember if I went back. I think I went like... I left it a week and then I went back to the Tottenham Court Road one and it was strange actually, they only had these ones left when I went in there. So I was very lucky. So that's the whole set. There's seven in total. I will do close-ups if I haven't already of all of them. Okay, the next thing I'm going to show you is these. You've probably seen them, they've been out for ages. These are the Alice in Wonderland purses. They were all reduced, they were all originally £5 and now they are two. So I'll start with my fave. This is the Alice in Wonderland bottle. I mean, I just love the sparkle on them. And you can see it says, drink me. Here's the cat in the, the cat in the hat. <laughs> Sorry, it's not even Disney. This is Cheshire Cat, not the cat in hat. I watched it the other day, so I've got it in my brain. So this is the Cheshire Cat. I just love the detail. Like I love the fact that it has like a little sparkle, like each one. Then the white rabbit again, he's got a little pink sparkly nose, super cute. Of course the Mad Hatter, which I just realised he doesn't actually have any glitter on him. Oh no he does, I lie. He has glitter at the top, can you see? So yeah, I just like the little detail and they were all £2, which is an absolute bargain. Okay, oh, so the next thing i show you is... This, which again has been out for ages, is the chip mug. This was from the Wandsworth Primark I bought this. I don't have the box anymore. I believe it originally is £5 and then I think I got it for 3 but I could be wrong. So I use this, if you follow me on Instagram you would have seen this. I put my little shower puff in it, in the shower. I just sit it on there like that. And yeah, I, I know you can drink out of it but... I just think it's super cute as like a little bath accessory. <laughs> so that's how I use mine. So love him. And also because he's blowing bubbles, I feel like that looks like a bubble. Or I don't know, it could look a bit like actually like he's got crazy hair. I don't know. But yeah, that's what I use mine for. So I picked up that, which I love. I also picked up this. And this actually wasn't, this was right at the end of September, I think I picked this up. And I'm going to come in closer so you can see. They're basically wall stickers. So you've got Ariel, Cinderella, and Belle. Where is it? So you can see like a close up of the detail around. So yeah, you can stick these anywhere. My friend actually suggested sticking them in my car, which I thought wasn't a bad idea, to be honest. So I might stick them in my car. And yeah, so these were only five pounds, which I just think they're just so cute just for decoration. Oh. Next, we have these mugs. Look, it's some from Bambi. Did anybody else watch Bambi when they were little and just be so heartbroken? I mean, I don't know how old I was when I watched Bambi. I was, I was really young. But I just remember being so heartbroken when Bambi's mum dies at the beginning. And it, honestly, I think that's like stayed with me um, for life. I just... I just think it's such a classic, and I saw these, and they're just so cute. Like, how cute. And these, they were £6 for two mugs. I mean, 
Primark are killing it at the moment with Disney stuff. I have to say, like, the whole 90 years with Mickey, they are, they're killing it. They are getting the goods. Okie dokie, so the next thing, I've taken this out of the package, just because the glare is so strong, I just thought it's easier. It's this. It's an Aladdin Genie money box. I mean, how cute. I just, oh, anything that reminds me of Robin Williams, just gotta get it. He's one of my favourite actors and Hook will forever be my favourite film ever. So yeah, I bought this and this was actually reduced. Let me get the box. This was £8 down to 5 and I believe they have these in, definitely they have them in the Tottenham and Court Road Primark and they're like always, always on sale. And I was thinking about putting a bit of money in here and, you know, using it for Paris. Yeah, gonna use that to start putting money in that because I actually don't have that long till I go to Paris. So yeah, and then I went into Primark about a week after, and I don't need this, to be honest, but I need it. It's flounder! Look! <laughs> really the theme now. So yeah, this is the flounder money box. And... I mean, I love flounder anyway, but the main reason I picked this up is because it was reduced from eight pounds to three. I mean, three pounds. And I thought I could save this for money for America. I don't know if anyone else feels this, but whenever I put money in like a money box or anything, and then you kind of forget about it, you know, you might have put, I don't know, even if you've managed to make it like 20 quid, say, you put the odd pound in and it sort of gets 20 quid. When you find that money box and you remember it has money in it and you empty it out, it's just a really good feeling. Like, I don't wanna say it feels like Christmas, but you feel like you kind of won something free. Does anybody else feel that? Comment below if you feel like that, or it might just be me being a bit of a weirdo, so. So yeah, love them, love them, and they were both in the sale. You cannot go wrong. Okay, the next thing I'm gonna show you, again, it looks really similar to the money box, but it's a flounder mug. Look at him. I mean, I'm just gonna show you. To be honest, actually, the um, this one looks like slightly like older flounder, and this looks like a bit of a younger one. Maybe like, you know, the, is it the, Little Mermaid 2 with Melody in it, and I'm sure he's got kids. Flounder gets a bit older and then he has kids, so maybe, I don't know, just trying to create a difference. So yeah, this is the mug. I bought this to go for my birthday. I couldn't find Disney Store do a, um, a cup. I couldn't find the cup anywhere, so I bought this. I know he's a mug and I should probably put tea in him, but I put Pims. <laughs> As it was a barbecue, it was summer, so I put Pims in him and I drank it through a little straw. So, I mean, and these two together, they're just, it's just the dream. It's just the dream. So, yeah, and if you see on my Instagram, actually, you can see a picture of me on my birthday. I look a bit different. I got a red wig. I went all out. So, yeah, it was a picture of me, actually, and Sebastian and Flounder in my pulpit. Um, pulpit? With my ball pit. Pulpit? Ball pit. Well, it's a pool, and I turned it into a ball pit, so I don't... I'm just going to go ball pit. Yeah, I'm going to go ball pit, so you can see that picture on Instagram, so yeah, just so cute, and £6, and I will use him for tea now. Okay, next I'm going to show you, this necklace is from Primark, and it's for Mickey's 90 years, and it's oh, it's just so cute, I mean, look at that. So it's got two little separate bits on it, so it hangs down like that, and it was only £3. Okay, so, here we have, oh! There's a train. I don't know how much you can hear the trains. I suppose I won't know if I listen. Maybe let's just wait, just in case. Okay, on to a bit of beauty. The next thing I'm going to show you, the Mini Rouse range. Mini Rouse? Mini Mouse. Mini Mouse range. So, first of all, I'm going to show you the Mini Mouse brush. I mean, how cute is this? It's all glittery, and you open it inside, and then, oh! pop it out and then there's a cute little mirror hello so yeah that's how that works I mean I find this super handy this is only two pounds and I'm the type of person that will just ram everything into my handbag like I'll just try and stick the biggest brush and all my makeup I'll just like squish it in my bag so I'll be definitely taking this to Disneyland next I'm going to show you the mini nails 
Look at them. These were £3.50. And I just love that they're all different. Super cute. Um, there is no adhesive glue in here, so um, if you buy these, remember to um, buy some glue or make sure you have some at home. And then we have the Minnie Mouse lashes. La lash <laughs> lashes. Lashes. Gosh, I can't speak. Um, so these are the Minnie Mouse lashes. I've never bought Primark lashes before, but as lashes go, these look kind of the most similar to ones I'd buy. They're really fluttery. So cute. And these were £2. There's no glue in either of these. So just make sure when you buy them, when you want to put them on, that you have glue. Oh, dropping on the floor. Uh, the next thing we have is this. This is a... Do you know what? I'm going to take this out of the box because the glare is just too much. So this is a nail file. There we go. This is a nail file. So cute. I love the fact that you, they've used the bow. And then on this side we have like a buffer. And then here we have the actual file. So absolutely love that and that was only a pound that was a pound bargain and next we have the Minnie Mouse face mask and I love this I've seen so many people on Instagram using the princess ones and like and I actually saw a villain one someone beat Ursula the other day which I thought was hilarious so when you put them on as well as moisturizing your skin they kind of transform you so you kind of look like Minnie um, I mean this one has rose water in which roses in anything is just my fave so super excited to use that and look like mini um, yeah love that and that was three pounds super cute okay the next thing I'm gonna show you is this brush which I mean again it's little mermaid themed they bought a few of these out and I think they've done it at a really great time as it's Halloween. There's lots of villain stuff you can get now in Primark. You've got the nails. They've put some villain nails out. And then obviously now these brushes. Um, I've got Ursula because, I mean, Little Mermaid will always be my fave. So I bought the Ursula one. You can get the Corella Deville one. And you can also get Maleficent. I have seen on Instagram the Snow Queen. Not the Snow Queen, sorry, the Evil Queen from Snow White. I have seen her on Instagram, that brush. I don't know whether that's only in certain stores or maybe it's in Ireland, but I did see a post of all four, but when I've gone in any Primark, I can only find the three. So, yeah, if anybody sees them, actually, comment below. If anybody has seen the Evil Queen in any of the shops, let me know below if she's out or if she's just in a different country. I don't know. So let me know. Just seeing if there's anything else. Oh, my gosh. Okay. So there's these. I bought these which are finger puppets. I just remember when I was a little kid and I think it was, what story was it? I can't think now, Hansel and Gretel. I think it might have been the Three Little Pigs. I think it might have been the Three Little Pigs, but my, I had little bathtub um, story time ones of these when I was little and I used to love playing with them. And when I just saw these, I just thought, they're just so cute. And I don't know if I'm gonna give them to someone or whether I'll keep them for when I have children because they're just so nostalgic. And yeah, these were four pounds. So I bought these, my sisters were like, why are you buying them? Like, like you know, and I was just like, yeah. Okay, the next thing I bought, which actually I think is the last thing that's not cloves, is this book from Primark. It's a Mickey Mouse book, and it says love, imagination, and dreams on it. It feels really good quality, actually. I'm gonna show you the inside of the paper. At the back, it has this, which is just, it's so cute and then inside around the edges it basically has that sort of like as a border so yeah i've been using this recently to plan my disney trip i'm going back in november and also my friend georgia she's singing out there this time with mickey mouse and i've never seen her she's like the fourth time i think she's performed out in disneyland paris and i've not seen her so i'm going out there to see her and yeah and she's given me all her show time so just trying to basically plan what we're gonna kind of do on each day. Obviously it's gonna change, especially in Disneyland. You'll see a character and it like, you'll be walking to a ride. You'll see a character and you'll be like, oh my goodness, like it's Pinocchio and he'll just be running past you. So then you'll like run after him. So you can't obviously keep to a strict itinerary, but just wanted to have like a little guide, a guide of what we're gonna do. And just to make sure that obviously I see Georgia. So now we're gonna start on clothes. First of all, we're gonna start with these. 
I mean, look. How amazing are these? I love the laces. I love at the back they say mini. They're just everything. And I can't believe these are 12. They're 12. So these are 12. I got them in a size 4. I absolutely love them. I've actually seen recently they've got mini mouse heels in Primark. They're black glittery heels and they've got a red bow at the back. And yeah, I've seen them on Instagram. Their next thing, oh gosh, I love this jumper so much, is this. Oh, I've got itch, yeah. Sorry about that. Is this jumper. Oh my goodness. I'm going to stand up and show you. It's just so cute. I love the colours. It's so freaking soft. Like, and this was £14 and I got it in a small. Um, I did try the extra small because I know this is a 10 12. I did try the extra small, but I liked it being a bit baggy and it was just cosy. And yeah, I honestly, I can't wait to wear this in Paris in November. I just, oh, it's just so soft. So there's that. Okay, the next item of clothing I bought from Primark are these jumpers. It has cute little Mickey there. This is £10. The reason I have two, actually, you should probably explain why I've got two of the same jumper, is because I'm actually taking my partner to Disneyland Paris for his birthday in November. That's why we're going back. He's never been to Disneyland before. So, yeah, I wanted to take him for his birthday. Um, his birthday was in August, but as my friend Georgia was performing out there from November for Christmas with Mickey, I've never seen her, I decided to book it for November. So... Yeah, um, a bit of a story though to these. I bought mine in, which one's mine? I bought mine in an extra small and it's still quite big. So this is meant to be a 6 day. I thought these were unisex. They're not, they're girls. But originally I thought it was unisex. So I bought myself an extra small, which was perfect. And then obviously I wanted to buy one for my partner and I was with my mum and she was saying to me, oh, I was going to get the large. And she was saying, oh, no, 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 he's not large. Get him a medium. He's definitely a medium. Anyway, so I got this one, which is bigger. But he put it on the other day just to test. And it was so tight. Like, it almost looked like a belly, um, a belly top kind of jumper. So, and on his arms as well, it was just really tight. So I'm going to have to go back and change that for a large or even an extra large. I kind of didn't realise, for some, I don't know, what do you think? To me, it looks like a unisex kind of jumper. I mean, he loves the jumper, so it's fine. I've just got to work out and get it in a different, in a different size. <sighs> Look at these pyjamas. Oh my gosh. I love these. It's a nice cocky green. It's the Lion King. And, I mean, the attention to detail on these is just, I think it's insane. So these are the bottoms. And basically each different kind of line, different ones are upside down. So then you can see their scar and Mufasa are the right way around. Lion King was the first film I ever saw in the cinema when I was, how old was I? Say three? Maybe I was three. So yeah, I love the Lion King. And I saw these pyjamas. They also had them in Toy Story. And I was like, oh, do I get both? And I was like, no, put them down. You don't need them. So I'm probably going to go back and get Toy Story ones. But for now I just got them and they were £10. The last piece of clothing I got from Primark was this Minnie Mouse top. How cute! And it's got Minnie Mouse, look. Peering over there. It kind of feels like there should be a pocket there. I don't know why. Like she's peering over a pocket? So yeah, I love that. That was £8 and I got that also an extra small. Oh, I lie. Okay, this is the last one. So, this is the last piece of clothing I got from Primark. Look, it's poo. <laughs> oh, I love it. It says honey on it, and it's a nice big jumper. I got this in an extra small. I mean, this to me, this doesn't look like an extra small. It's a bit baggy on me, which I love. So, it's really cute, and it is £10 from Primark. I mean, I just loved it. I love Winnie the Pooh. Okay, so following on from Primark, we're now going to go to the Disney store. I actually only bought one item in the Disney store last month, but I have to say, out of everything probably in this haul, it's probably my favourite. It's my favourite thing that I bought, I think, the whole of last month. And yeah, it goes with my Winnie the Pooh jump from Primark. It is this Winnie the Pooh Christopher Robin bag. I mean, look at it. Oh. 
Oh, I love it. Let me show you in more detail. So, it has one in the poo with the balloon here. So cute. And then here you've got the tag, because obviously it's part of the Christopher Robin range of the new film. So the tag there. And I've just got to show you inside. So inside, I mean the detail of this. Can you see it's got Winnie the Pooh, Tigger, Piglet, and it's all scenes around London. So you've got a red post box. You've got a red bus, you've got Big Ben, you've got Tower of London, I mean, it's just everything. And it continues inside, if you look inside. And then there's also a little front pouch here, which again has the decor in. And then, oh, there's a receipt. <laughs> and then on the back, I just love this as well, it says, a case of important things. It's just, it's just adorable. And it was only £25, which I picked it up and I was like, oh, I need that, expecting it to be probably around 50 and when I saw it was 25, I was like, right, and I just literally grabbed it. If any of you haven't seen the new Chris Robin film, you have to see it. I saw it on my birthday, and if you ever watched Winnie the Pooh as a kid, it just brings back everything, all the characters, and it's actually the guy who originally played the voice of Winnie the Pooh is in this film playing the voice of Tigger and Winnie the Pooh, and he is so talented. I watched an interview with him the other day and he's actually in so many Disney films I had no idea doing the voices. So yeah, you have to see it. I don't want to say too much, but the film is very about family and yeah, me and my family went on my birthday and it was just the perfect film. Uh, it was also very funny. Uh, there were some scenes and I'm not going to say because I'm going to spoil it. Uh, yeah, I love this bag so much. Also the other day in one of Zoella's vlogs she was talking about the film Goodbye Christopher Robin that came out I think it was in 2016. So I watched that and it's basically, it's a lot more darker than the new Disney version of this. It's very much based on the writer, um, the writer A. Mill and about his son Christopher Robin who Winnie the Pooh and obviously Christopher Robin was you know based on his son was was called Christopher and and that's where it all came from and it's it's a really interesting film and it's very sad I cried my eyes out it's got Margot Robbie in it who is just amazing and yeah you have to go see that if you liked this film Christopher Robin then go and watch Goodbye Christopher Robin because it will break your heart but then it's just oh it just it's just everything how they came up with all the characters I would definitely recommend seeing both of them films. Okay, last but not least, we're going to move on to H&M. I've already showed you one thing, which are these Mickey jeans, which you can see all the detail there. I just checked online, just to double check I got the pricing right, and they were £34.99 and they're now £17. So if you want them, go and get them now. They're super comfy as well. And the last thing I'm going to show you is, oh my goodness, this dress. Oh. I love it. This was twelve ninety nine, and I'm so close. I love the mustard colour. It's just, it's so cute, and it's got quite big sleeves. I mean, it probably doesn't look like much off, but it just the way it hangs when it's on. Honestly, it looks so cool. So yeah, that's everything. Let me know if you enjoy the video. Hopefully, you did. I'm going to upload in a video soon. I got invited to go and see Aladdin on the West End. We got a little backstage tour and got to meet the cast members, so I filmed a bit of that. Um, I'm thinking of doing that as my next video, and then also I've got a few other ideas, but comment below and let me know if you enjoyed this. Let me know if you want to see more hauls. Yeah, follow my Instagram for more, and yeah, make sure you subscribe below. And thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it. Okay, bye. All right, everybody, please leave Disney Pixie a thumbs up. <laughs>